Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has finally released the updated version of Microsoft Edge. And the latest stable release now is version 115, which actually rolled out on the 21st of July, which was about two days or so ago in my region. And um, I think if you were expecting a lot of front-facing features with version 115, I think you're going to be disappointed as um, it's really a security update at its heart and core for version 115 with one new feature mainly aimed at administrators and then we'll have a look at one or two other tweaks and adjustments that Microsoft has also made um, after we have a look at the all-important security updates that always do roll out. Now because we are dealing with security updates and this is a major version upgrade, to double check that you have the update just head to your main menu help and feedback about Microsoft Edge and by now I think this would have rolled out in your region because this update was made available as mentioned about two days or so ago and the latest version in bold version 115.0.1901.183 so this is the latest stable release for the stable channel now just to go through the uh, security fixes um, there are 14 security issues that have been addressed in the browser. Three of those are actually Edge specific for the actual um, Edge browser and the remaining um, 11 are for the Chromium open source project which the browser is based on as many of you would know. Now just to focus a little bit more on those vulnerabilities that have been addressed. The Edge specific vulnerabilities and the three of those are elevation of privilege, there's Android spoofing vulnerability so that's actually for Edge, if you are using Edge on your Android device, and then there's also a spoofing vulnerability. So for the desktop browser, elevation of privilege and a spoofing, those two vulnerabilities have been addressed um, out of those three Edge-specific um, fixes and vulnerabilities that have been made available. And then the rest, the 11 that are left over, are for the Chromium project and engine which the browser is based on. And just to mention um, some of those, uh, there are four high-risk vulnerabilities that rolled out for the Chromium platform, which is your second highest after a critical. So just double check your browser's up to date. It is your first line of defense. And those uh, 14 vulnerabilities that have been addressed have now been patched with the latest stable release, version 115. Now, moving on to some other features that have been rolled out. I'm not noticing any major changes as mentioned. But there is one official new feature that has been made available as part of this feature update, which Microsoft does list in the release notes. And it's mainly focused at admins, and it's called Microsoft Edge Management Service, which is an area in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center where administrators can manage the Microsoft Edge browser. And Microsoft carries on to say it's a simple and easy to manage experience. Admins are able to configure all Microsoft Edge browser policies for their organization in a configuration profile and set up the browser to use their settings. So Microsoft Edge Management Service now available for system admins with Edge version 115. And over and above that, we get a whole bunch of new uh, policies and then we get one additional policy change. Now something else I've noticed as part of this update, which hasn't been officially uh, mentioned by Microsoft uh, in the release notes, are two minor changes and improvements that have rolled out for the sidebar and the side panel which Microsoft seems to be given a lot of attention and the first is that the drop feature edge drop now has a little screenshot application that's been added and I actually have posted on this um, when it was still in preview and I'm not going to focus too much on what drop is all about just do a search on the channel but basically um in a nutshell, it lets you save files or notes in OneDrive and is a feature that also lets you drag and drop files and access them using Microsoft Edge on your other devices. And if you have been watching this channel, um, I have featured Drop in numerous previous videos. Now, how this screenshot will basically work with Drop, you just click on that and then you can obviously take a bit of a screen grab and you've got options underneath like a square, you can enter a circle, arrow. It's very similar to Paint. Uh, you can save that for um, later access and reference. You can cancel and then you can also copy that to clipboard. And that's part of the drop now that basically lets you take a screenshot. So that's one little adjustment. And then the last one for the purpose of today's video is I have also noticed with the sidebar, if we head to our customize page, um, this may be region specific, but the designer has also rolled out in preview. And basically designer is a graphic 
uh, design app in Microsoft 365 that will help you create social media posts, invitations, digital postcards, and so on. And I've also posted quite a few videos on Designer. Um, so you can just do a search on the channel for those. But nonetheless, that screenshot for drop and the a new Designer uh, a quick launch button now is available in the sidebar. So those are two little adjustments I have seen that have rolled out as part of the sidebar and the side panel with Edge uh, version 115. And as mentioned, at its heart and core, this is mainly a security update, which does um, address 14 security issues. And then we get those minor little changes as mentioned, and that system admin update. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.